wonderful conference that's still going on in Jerusalem. It's called All Nations. It's wonderful to be uh, with believers from 120 nations. Crying out for the Middle East. It's, it's just uh, very encouraging to see so many people from all over, the diff all over the world, and here we have people from Hong Kong and Norway and London, and I don't know where all here today. Uh, it's and I want to tell you that we certainly appreciate you coming to stand with us in, in these days. If you look in the natural around Israel, we have civil wars on our borders. Thousands of people dying, millions of refugees. But we know that God is in control. Amen. And I'd like to read from Jeremiah chapter 50. Jeremiah 50. Jeremiah Perek Nun. Our neighborhood is bristling with weapons. Weapons everywhere. Aimed at other people. Many of them aimed at us. God sees this. And God has a response to all of the anger and rage around us. Chapter 50. Jeremiah. Verse 25. The Lord has opened his armory. The Lord has opened his armory. You know that God has an armory of divine weapons that are divinely powerful for pulling down strongholds. God has opened his armory. The rest of the verse. And he brought out the weapons of his anger. God has brought out his weapons. We are those that are in his army. We are in a war. If you don't know that you're in a spiritual war, you don't know what's going on. This is an end time demonic war that we're involved in. So our, our gracious Heavenly Father opens up the doors of the armory. He's bringing out weapons to distribute to us. The question is, will we receive his weapons? And will we use them? The Lord wants to distribute weapons to us today. We'll, we'll look at what they are in just a moment. The anger and rage and hatred and murder that surround us. There are at least a hundred thousand dead in Syria in their civil war. Muslims slaughtering other Muslims. Muslims slaughtering Christians. Hundreds of innocent civilians writhing in pain from from chemical weapons. Innocent children, mothers and young people dying by the hundreds. They're using chemical weapons. And the world is, uh, leaders are all talking about and they don't know what to do. But God has given us weapons that we're going to use. Hallelujah. 
בו. The daily bombings in Iraq. ההפגזות היומיומיות בעיראק. Hundreds of Muslims dying every month. מאות מוסלמים נהרגים בכל חודש. There are now U.S. warships off the coast of Syria. ועכשיו יש ספינות מלחמה בחופים של סוריה. Now there are Russian warships off the coast of Syria. וגם אוניות מלחמה רוסיות בחופי סוריה. Next to the Russian warships. דמיינו לכם ספינות מלחמה אמריקאיות מול רוסיות. And let me tell you a secret. ואני רוצה לומר לכם את הסוד. They're not on the same team. אנחנו לא באותה קבוצה. This is the time to fast and pray like never before. Christians are under siege in Egypt. The two buildings of the Bible Society in Egypt have been destroyed. Fifty Egyptian churches were destroyed in one day. And the pastors that we get information from in Egypt, אנחנו מקבלים ממנו אינפורמציה במצרים. This is the worst persecution in the history of Egypt since the Muslim invasion in, in the 14th century. הוא אמר שזו הרדיפה הכי גרועה במצרים מאז שהפלישה של המוסלמים בשנת 600 לספירה. Down south in the Gaza Strip. גם בדרום בעזה. They had, they had summer camps all summer with the kids. They're called jihad camps. They teach the kids to be terrorists from five years of age, age and up. הם מלמדים את הילדים להיות טרוריסטים מגיל חמש ומעלה. They chant their hatred to the Jews. והם שרים שנאה נגד היהודים. That they own Haifa and Tel Aviv and everything else in Israel. והם טוענים שחיפה ותל אביב זה שלהם וכל... The kids are incited to rage and violence at a very early age. הם מסיתים את הילדים לזעם וחמה נגד ישראל בגיל צעיר. And it's sponsored by the United Nations. והתגובה של האומות המאוחדות. And financed by the United States. הם מממנים אותם גם ארצות הברית. אנחנו, היה לנו כאן מחנה קיץ. היו בערך 100 ילדים. יהודים וערבים ביחד. אף אחד לא צעק שהוא שונא את הערבים או את המוסלמים. כמה מהם קראו ברך. ילדים קטנים. Worshipping in Hebrew and Arabic both. השתחוו גם בעברית וגם בערבית. Learning to love each other, love the Lord, and, and, and the, the, op, the antidote to hatred is love. והם למדו לאהוב אחד את השני, את האדון, וההפך משנאה זה אהבה. We were involved with a big, big team conference here just a few, few days ago. לפני כמה ימים אנחנו היינו מעורבים בכנס של צעירים. At the big center downtown. למטה בלאו במרכז הקונגרס. Several hundred Arabs and Jewish teenagers worshiping the Lord together. מאות של צעירים יהודים וערבים השתחוו ביחד לאדון בחיפה. כשאנחנו רואים את כל הדברים האלה קורים מסביבנו, האדון קורא לנו לצום ולהתפלל והוא מעניק לנו נשק להשתמש בו. prepared for things. שירותי החירום בבתי החולים כבר מוכנים. Gideon is a medic and drives a... An ambulance, they're, they're ready for what might be coming. Gideon, who is a paramedic, he is a ambulance, he knows that they are already waiting for the signs. I hope we all got our gas masks. I hope we all got our gas masks. We hear F-16s flying over all the time. All the time we hear F-16s flying over all the time. These are all the weapons of men. These are all the weapons of men. כל אלה זה נשק אנושי. God has weapons for his body. אלוהים יש לו נשק לגופו. That are more powerful than tanks and F-16s. והוא יותר חזק מטנקים ומטוסי F-16. This war that we're involved in. המלחמה שאנחנו מעורבים בה. The Lord has opened his armory, praise God. אלוהים פתח את הנשקייה שלו ואנחנו מודים לו. Because the devil, Satan, has come down having great rage. כי השטן ירד אלינו ויש לו זעם אדיר. כי הוא יודע שזמנו קצר. Now, עכשיו. זה לא נראה טוב. Well, don't watch the news, read the word of God. אבל במקום להביט בחדשות, תקראו את דבר אלוהים. It's all in the word of God. הכל כתוב בדבר אלוהים. We know what's going to happen in Iran. אנחנו יודעים מה שיקרה. Isaiah 49 tells us what's going to happen in Iran. וישעיה 49 אומר לנו מה שיקרה. We prayed about it last year and the big... 
uh, power cord to the nuclear power plant was chopped, chopped in two after we prayed about it. Hallelujah. This is an opportunity for the gospel to go forth. When people are afraid, when their hearts are failing for fear, look up. Praise the Lord. This, this is the time to comfort our people. Now, we have a heavenly father who opened an armory. When I was a little kid, I grew up in Washington, D.C. And uh, we had an armory in our neighborhood. The armory was of the National Guard. So they had weapons in there. And sometimes the National Guard would have parades or exercises or whatever. But most of the time, there was a basketball court in there. All the kids in our neighborhood were in the basketball league and we play, played basketball in the armory. So there are armories where wep our weapons are stashed all over the land. There's an armory with, with uh, chemical weapons in Syria. But God in heaven is looking down and he's opened up his armor and he says, I'm giving you weapons. What are they? They are proclamation. Proclamation of the word of God. When you proclaim the word of God, I mean out loud and proclaim the word of God. A couple of weeks ago, we were in a, in a cabin up in the Swiss Alps. Some friends, some friends let us go up there every summer and use their cabin. And this time, we usually don't have any internet connection up there. But Karen has an iPhone now. So we could see about war. Finally we said, let's put this thing away. Obama doesn't know what he's doing. The French don't know what they're doing. The British don't know what they're doing. God knows what he's doing. You know what we did? We started proclaiming the word of God. It was wonderful. My, for my wife reading chapters of the Bible to me, hallelujah. So it's proclamation, prayer, and praise. God says, here's my weapon. Here's my word. If you will proclaim it out loud, you're saying what God says. When God says no weapon formed against you shall prosper, you're quoting God. There's power in the proclamation of the word. Right, if, you, if you don't believe me, let's do it. Turn to Psalm 2. And we're going I'm going to proclaim Psalm 2. There are too many... Languages here to try to do it together. In heaven, when we get there, there's only one language. It's the sound of many waters. Hallelujah. We'll all understand each other. Psalm 2. This is what God says about the situation in our neighborhood. You get it on your iPhone or iPad or your, whatever you have. I know the Lord's coming soon because the pastor in Singapore gave my wife an iPad and she knows how to use it. This, this is a sign of the times. Now, when we go to Hong Kong and I say, get out your Bibles, nobody has the Bible, they just have iPhones, iPads. If, if the Lord tarries, your grandchildren won't even know what this is. 
הדבר. Hallelujah, we know what it is. אנחנו יודעים מה זה ספר. And I know you have the word of God in all your gadgets. ואני יודע שיש לכם במכשירים שלכם את דבר אלוהים, תודה לאל. Okay, I'm going to read Psalm 2. Let it sink in. שזה ישקע בכם, תהילים ב'. Why do the nations rage? למה רגשו גויים? And the people plot a vain thing. Do you see this? There's rage all around us. They're plotting vain things according to God's word. Proclamation is saying what God says. Verse 2. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. It's all antichrist movement. It's against the Lord and it's against the Messiah. The persecution in China. In the underground church. It's the biggest revival in the history of the world. The persecution in Indonesia. 25% of Indonesians now believe in the Lord. It's going to be a, it's going to be a believing country. Where there's persecution. The Lord is saying, I know what this is all about, and he, we quote his word. Verse 4. He who sits in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall hold them in derision. Then, then he shall speak to them in his anger and displeasure. Distress them in the deep, his deep displeasure. Look at verse 6. This is God speaking. I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion. Our nation doesn't know it yet, but the king is Yeshua. London doesn't know it yet, but Yeshua is the king of London. Syria doesn't know it yet because he's the king of kings. But the whole world will know that he is the king and God set him on Zion. Zion's holy hill. Verse 7. I will declare the decree. Do this at home. The Lord has said to me, you are my son. Today I have begotten you. This is Yeshua talking. Ask of me. This is our prayer. Proclamation and prayer. Holy weapons. Divine weapons. You need to know that this is divine. This is the word of the Creator. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, I will declare the, the decree. Verse 8. Ask of me, I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. We need to ask the Lord. We want to align ourselves with you. Why can't, why can't he send a great revival to Egypt? It's, it's written that he's going to. Why can't we pray for it now? Isaiah 19 says Egypt and us and all these nations, we're going to be a highway of holiness all through the Middle East. The Egyptians and the Syrians and the Israelis, we are... When we all get saved, we're going to be a blessing in the midst of the world. Well, we need to declare it and believe it and hang on until he does it. Verse 10. Esser. Now therefore, be wise, O kings, be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Serve the Lord with... Fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son lest he be angry. Brothers and sisters. It's all about intimacy with Yeshua. This is the time to get intimate with him. This is the time to get in the tabernacle of David. David sat there with the presence of God in the little tent and just had time. This is the time to get intimate with Yeshua. 
זה זמן כדי ליצור קשר אינטימי עם ישוע. תתחילו לקרוא את הבשורה של יוחנן. והכירו אותו טוב יותר. Perfect love casts out fear. The Lord is speaking to us about prayer, proclamation, and praise. Kiss the Son, lest He be angry and you perish in the way. When His wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are those who put their trust in Him. Now, We need to praise the Lord. I'll tell you right now. There are people sitting in this place that you don't praise the Lord in your home. I'm not going to ask for a show of hands. You know who you are. Now, I have a... I'm blessed because there's always praise in my home because I'm married to a worship leader. And she gets the song of the Lord in our living room. How can I avoid it? Hallelujah. I, I, I just creep to my secret place and get more intimate with Lord. She's playing in it. But you need to praise the Lord. There's power in praise. There's victory in praise. He, he inhabits the praises of his people. People Israel, he comes down. When the Holy Spirit came in here in the worship in such a sweet way, he was inhabiting the praises of his people Israel. Let's talk about praise first. Turn to Isaiah 30. Isaiah 30. I don't know about you, I'm going to go home and pro proclaim the word. Isaiah 30. This has been a foundational passage of scripture for us for years. Let's ver read verse 28. His breath is like an overflowing stream which reaches up to the neck to sift the nations with the sieve of futility and there shall be a bridle in the jaws of the people causing them to err. God is sifting the nations. He's shaking the nations. If he's ever shaken the nations, it's now. Especially in the nations surrounding us. He's sifting them. He's finding out who will be to totally true to him. When all this happens, as it's happening right now, verse 29, you shall have a song as in the night. You shall have a song as in the night. When the night is falling, the darkness is all around us. We need a song in the night. It's one thing to praise the Lord when everything is going well, but we need to praise the Lord when things don't look so good. You need to praise the Lord in the darkness that surrounds us. Darkness and Deep darkness is all over Israel. We need to praise the Lord in Israel. You shall have a song in the night when a holy festival is kept. This uh, 12 hours of worship we're going to do uh, on the 26th, on Thursday. There are worship teams coming from the ends of the earth. I mean, some of them are, one group is coming from Mongolia. <laughs> I mean, come on, these are the descendants of Genghis Khan, I guess. They're coming from Taiwan, they're coming from Hong Kong, they're coming from they're coming from all over, coming from America, they're coming <laughs> from Taiwan, Hong Kong, America. Arabs and Jews. And we're gonna get all these chairs out of here and open up all the walls and we're just gonna have 
a holy festival here, praising the Lord. And some of these, we know all these people, and some of these people are wonderful worship leaders. Throne room worship. Bridal worship. Just praising the Lord. Pure praise is powerful. Satan can't stand pure praise. He was the worship leader in heaven and tried to take over. He's a counterfeit. So when the pure praise comes, the demons have to flee. Hallelujah. We're going to sing a song in the night. My, my wife calls it the warrior bride. We get, we get sanctified, we get our weapons, and we go to war against the enemy. Hallelujah. But you need to do this as your lifestyle. Praising the Lord, you will walk in victory. Build yourself up in the most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Look what it says here. The mighty, they will come to the mountain of the Lord, the mighty one of Israel. Verse 29. People are going to be coming here, and people are here today with gladness and joy of heart to meet the mighty one of Israel. Amen? And look what he will do, verse 30. The Lord will cause his glorious voice to be heard. The Lord's voice is powerful. It breaks the cedars. Hallelujah. We need to trumpet the word of the Lord. When we blow shofars, we are trumpeting the word of God. You need to be a person that proclaims the power of God. Praise, prayer, and proclamation. Hallelujah. He goes on and he says, verse 31, Through the voice of the Lord, Assyria will be beaten down as he strikes with the rod. Assyria today is Iran and Iraq and, and Syria. But look, here's our weapons. We're not doing it with missiles. That's up to the army. We're doing it with something else. In the middle of verse 32. It will be with tambourines and Harps. These are the weapons. Hallelujah. He wants to hand out his tambourines and harps. You, do, do you know that in heaven you're going to be a harp? You may not look like a harp, but the harps in heaven are, are, are people. Praise the Lord. Right now we have harps and bowls. You should be a bowl. Filled with the praise of God and the prayers of God. We are harps and bowls. We haven't been doing harps and bowls up here for, for ever since this building opened for nothing. We're doing it to open the heavens over Israel. Hallelujah. We do it with brandishing of harps and tambourines. And shofars. And our voice. Everything that has breath. Praise the Lord. You know, when Elisha was on the battlefield, and the army was running around in circles not knowing what they were doing, and they, ran, they ran out of water in the desert. They called the prophet out of his tent. And said, we don't know what to do. You know what Elisha said? He didn't, he didn't draw them a battle plan. He said, bring me a musician. Can you imagine the kings and the generals of the army, the crazy prophet wants a harp. He starts worshiping the Lord on the battlefield. It was totally hopeless. They were going to be overrun and slaughtered. 
עם הכנר שהביאו לו, והם היו אמורים להתאבע. No כל החיות והחיילים, לא היה להם מים, כמעט מתו מצמא. והוא התחיל להלל את האדון. Says, הוא אומר, כה אמר אדוני. Uh, ת, תמלאו את העמק הזה בתעלות. Uh, דמיינו לכם את כל החיילים. Land that's about like this stone. They didn't have tractors. They did it. They dug these ditches and thought they were crazy. The next day, water comes supernaturally. There's no wind, there's no rain. There are pools of water all over. Those soldiers, I know they were running there and diving into the water. They're probably dra dragging their camels and donkeys saying, come on, we get a drink. The Lord saved the nation because a man praised God. Hallelujah. You will get the word of the Lord. I get the word of the Lord a lot in praise. In my age, I write it down so I won't forget it. The word of the Lord is powerful. דבר אלוהים אדיר. When we proclaim it in praise or just read it and shout it. כשאנחנו מכריזים את זה ומעללים את זה וקוראים את זה וזועקים את זה. Turn to John chapter 15. תפנו איתי רגע אל יוחנן ט' דבר 15. Prayer, praise, proclamation. הכרזה, תפילה והלל. John 15. יוחנן 15. Proclamation is simply saying what God says. You know, when the, ta when the, the temple was restored, they just got up there and started reading the word of God. All the people were crying and praising and, and repenting. And the, the leaders, Ezra and Nehemiah and the other, they were just reading the word of God all morning long. John chapter 15, verse 7. If you abide in me, and my, and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. If you haven't memorized this scripture, now's the time. This word will change your life. If you abide in him, if you're spending time with him, and his word abides in you, ask what you desire, because your desires will be sanctified. And you won't have to do it, he will do it for you. In, in uh, the Old Testament, in the book of Psalms, Psalm 37, verse 5 says, Go, 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 Adonai, Darhichai. Yeah. When you turn, when you trust in the Lord and turn things over to Him, who Yahseh? He will do it. Who he has said that? That's, that's Psalm 37.5. That's Tehillim 37.5. Do you see the power of prayer? If you will get intimate with him, if you will get his word, your desires will start to bubble up by the Holy Spirit and you'll know it's him. And then he will do it. This is why this fast is so important. We need to train ourselves to pray, praise, and Let's turn to Psalm 68. I was in the Psalms this morning. I came to the conclusion you could proclaim all of them. I just chose a couple. Psalm 68. Oh, God. Holy Spirit, teach us to proclaim your word. Psalm 68, verse 1. Psalm 68, verse 1. Psalm 68, verse 1. Psalm 
פסוק 16. Why do you fume with envy, you mountains of, of many peaks? This is the mountain which God desires to dwell in. The Lord will dwell in it forever. We believe and have for years that God wants to dwell in this mountain. Of course, this is about Mount Zion finally in the end times. That God wants to set up an encampment on the mountain from the top to the bottom. We, we proclaim this scripture. And look how he'll help us. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of thousands. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. Do you know that there are chariots of fire around believers that are walking with the Lord? אתם יודעים שיש מרכבות אש מסביב למאמינים שהולכים עם האדון? זה לא רק היה אלישה. בכל השנים שהיללנו פה אני ראיתי מרכבות אש. לפעמים ראיתי מרכבות אש שהן בדרך לכיוון מסוים. כששמענו שיר בלילה שזה היה אחד אחרי חצות. And started going around the building. Now God won't show you that all the time. But it's true that chariots of fire, their, their angelic war, war wagons are surrounding God's believers. Read the accounts of the Yom Kippur war up on the Golan Heights. The Jews that aren't even believers that saw them. שיהודים שאפילו הם לא מאמינים ראו אותם. וגם יהודים מאמינים בצבא ראו זאת בסיפור. לפתע כל הטנקים הסורים בדרכם לגליל הסתובבו וחזרו אחורה. אלוהים פתח את הצבא שלו ושלח הגנה של מלאכים. תהילים 68 זה מזמור של ניצחון צבאי. פסוק 24. They have seen your procession, O Lord, O God, the procession of my God, my King, into the sanctuary. 25 בעברית ראו הליכותיך, אלוהים, הליכות אלי מלכי בקודש. The singers went before, the players on instruments followed after, among them were the maidens playing timbrels. קידמו שרים אחר נגנים בתוך... This was happening here today. <laughs> These kids are from Sudan. These kids are Jews and Arabs. These kids are Americans. All one body. We're worshiping the Lord and all these kids are... Did you see them when we were down here? ראיתם אותם כשהיללנו איך הם היו ביחד? הם רצו והיללו את האדום. כמה מהם לא הרגישו זאת, אבל הם הגשימו את זה. Bless God in the congregations, the Lord from the fountain of Israel. במקהלות ברכו אלוהים אדוני ממקור ישראל. אני אוהב זאת. There's little Benjamin, their leader. ושם בנימין הצעיר שהוא המנהיג שלהם. בנימין היה הצעיר. בנימין היה הצעיר. הוא המנהיג. ילד קטן ינהיג אותם. מי האנשים שהכירו את המשיח שהוא הגיע? הילדים שרו הושענה לישוע בן דוד, הם ידעו. They were all worshiping the Lord together, and there's power in it. If you're married and have kids, you need to teach your kids to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to the end of the, this. Verse 32. Psalm 68, verse 32. 
Sing to God, you kingdoms of the earth, sing praises to the Lord Selah. בעברית זה 34, לרוכב בשמי שמי קדם ייתן בקולו כל עוז. To him who rides on the heavens of heavens which were of old, indeed he sends out his voice, a mighty voice. טוב, 33, ממלכות הארץ שירו לאלוהים זמרו אדוני סלה. The Lord is speaking through his word. אלוהים מדבר דרך דברו. Ascribe strength to God, his excellence is over Israel. And his strength is in the clouds. Oh God, you are more awesome out of your holy places. The God of Israel is he who gives strength and power to the people. Blessed be God. Years ago, some of you have heard this. Before we moved to Israel 24 years ago, I was in an all-night prayer meeting in New York City. And somewhere 3 o'clock in the morning, something like that. I saw a huge, beautiful, white, fleecy cloud covering that went from Mount Carmel all the way up to the Golan Heights. It wasn't threatening, it was, it was beautiful. It was shining. And I asked the Lord what it was. And then he gave me this verse we just read. His cloud is over Israel. The pillar of cloud. His excellence is over Israel. His strength, his strength is in the clouds. It's like the cloud of glory that covered the ark. So I asked the Lord to confirm the vision with the word, and he gave me this. I remember writing down in my diary. He's waiting. For a people, לעם, he can trust in northern Israel. He's going to open up that cloud, הענן, and there is going to be an outpouring of the Holy Spirit all over northern Israel and Lebanon. Before he comes to Jerusalem, this is what we've been praying and proclaiming for, for, for decades. And we're believing God is going to do it. So we proclaim his word and he watches over his word to perform it. Now I'm going to ask everybody to stand and turn to Psalm 149. We're going to proclaim Psalm 149. Worship team, why don't you come? Bring your weapons. Psalm 149. Hallelujah. Okay, you have it? If you have it in English, you can read with me. If you have it in Chinese, you can read with me also. Read it in Russian. Read it in Hebrew. Read it in Arabic. Read it in Norwegian. Read it in Finnish. Just proclaim it. Okay, here we go. It begins, with, it begins with hallelujah. Everybody can say that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, here we go. Sing to the Lord a new song. His praise in the assembly of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in their maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name with a dance. Hallelujah. Let them sing praises to him with timbrel and harp. The Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the humble with salvation. Let's read that again. He will beautify the humble with salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Verse 5. Let them sing aloud on their bed. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. A two-edged sword in their hand. Execute vengeance on the nation. Punishment on the peoples. We will bind their kings with chains. Hallelujah. The nobles with fetters. Execute on them the written judgment. Have all the saints. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
This is the power of praise. This is the power of proclamation. We can bind the demonic king. We can bind principalities. We can take the authority over what's attacking us. We need to be an army. Pick up your weapon. Get your weapon of praise. Get your weapon of praise. Proclaiming the word. Get your weapon of prayer. He purifies the humble with salvation. We kneel before him. He releases his army. He's Adonai's Tevod. He's the Lord of armies. Angelic armies. Hallelujah. We, we release over Syria. A revelation of who Yeshua is. We believe you wanted to do it. You want to do it, Lord. You said you would pour out your spirit on all flesh. Your old men would have dreams. Give them dreams. Save Muslims. Holy Spirit, go to Syria. Go to Egypt. Iraq. Go to Gaza. Go to Bethlehem. Come to Haifa. Come to Galilee. Come to Lebanon. Lord, we're believing for a great move of your spirit in the midst of the mess, Lord. You will move. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.